All right, so here we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna get into the next thing. Um, you know, I could have had the. Con- I was gonna bring a, a, a stripper on here. Mm-hmm. I could have had this conversation with you. This one. Um, I'm gonna get into more little serious shit. Okay. Right? You're a black woman. I'm a black man. Right. Do you think there's a disconnect between black men and black women nowadays? Very much so. It's a high disconnect. I think that. I think it's a post-trauma slavery, and not to go into a racial topic, but I think that That's deep. black women are designed to be a man and a woman. And what I mean by that is, listen, what I mean by that is black women are, was raised, some a majority, I can say, I don't know the statistics, but I know majority was raised by single moms who had to play the mother and the father figure. So being that a black woman was raised to watch their mom do both things, they were raised to think that I don't need a man. Okay. I don't need a man at all. So you think that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a more of a uh, generational thing. That's not, a, that's not a, a, a genetic thing. But listen, however, being that they were raised to think that they don't need a man or a woman, they, it stems into a lot of things like communication. Okay. Black women don't know how to communicate with mm. black men. Mm. We don't know. We don't know when to be quiet. Let's be mm. honest. Here. Oh let's let's Ooh, let's I was expecting. Be hold on, stop. Was it? I was expecting to have a debate. <laughs> this is a, she agrees with. Like I didn't even say anything yet. Continue, please. Please I mean, hold on, hold on. Put him in a coffin. Hold on. <laughs> no. <Me>? I, <laughs> I'm a blogger. I write. I do studies. I do studies on dating. I do studies on being that I'm a black woman. I'm a pretty black woman. I'm an intelligent black woman. But going out to public, black men don't look at me as that. They look at me as she's stuck up. She has an attitude. But they look at, I have Spanish homegirls. They would rather pass me. Hispanic homegirls. Listen, they they would rather pass me. (laughs) Hispanic, not Spanish. Oh, excuse me. Hispanic. Not hic- Hispanic. <laughs> Hispanic homegirls. Listen, can I Spanish talk? <laughs> can I talk? No, no. You said Spanish. I was just correcting you. Continue. Okay, Hispanic. Spanish. <laughs> Continue. I'm sorry. Hispanic. <laughs> so anyways, they will look past me and go to Hispanic homegirls. Okay. So I will always wonder why. So I was like, you know what? I need to do the study. I need to see why. Like, look at me. Not being conceited and all, but I'm a very strong, confident black woman. And I'm like, okay. look at me. So, come to find out, even me, I don't know this that I'm doing it intentionally, but come to find out, we are very independent. We're, we, we like, hey, we want to, you know, we always want to go back and forth. We always want to argue. Communication is not based on argument. Communica- communication is based on conversation. Having a conversation. Me and you, mm-hmm. we have a disagreement. Something I could have done or something you could have done. By me yelling, by me calling you fuck nigga, all of that, that that's not a part of communication. It's emasculating. Exactly. That's degrading. Mm. However, when it comes to a Spanish and a Caucasian woman, they don't do that at all. They never make their man feel low Black than the actual man. I'm not saying this. And so. Take notes. <laughs> say me. I was going to say it, but she's saying so, it for me. We, and that's what steers men from believing we have attitudes. From men believing that I don't want to deal with all that argumentative, that BS. I don't want to deal with that. And I understand. Why would you want to deal with it? And I had to put myself in a man's shoes that you don't want to come home when a female say you're coming home from a hard day working so hard and you're not doing enough. But you felt like you're doing enough. But the woman don't appreciate you doing enough. Mm. And that's what we stand. Because we're so independent, we think he can always do more. And that's not the case. Effort is effort. If a man's going out there and working, he's going out there and working. But don't demasculate him and make him feel lower than himself. Emasculate. <laughs> demasculate is not a word, sweetheart. <laughs> that's a disconnect, too, there. So, all right, with all that said, what do you think about... Uh, what do you think about sex on the first date? Sex on the first date. Oh, goodness. 